My name is Lily O'Reilly. Um, I was um, I entered the Presentation Sisters around I was around nineteen. Um, I didn't know a great deal about Nano Nagel at the time. Strangely enough, um, I only found out about Nano later on, and then I was really impressed and really inspired by her. I've also had the privilege, really, of, of being of living in Belfast um, uh, during the troubled uh, years there. And um, I learned a great deal from the people there. I learned all about how courageous and resilient the people were during that, that diff very difficult time. And what a wonderful, strong faith they had. You know, they, they really believed that, that God would see them through. God would see them through everything. And um, I then uh, had the honor of, of working in South America, in Chile and in Ecuador. And again, there were, we, we lived with people who were very, very poor, in very, very poor areas. And uh, again, their, their resilience, their courage, their faith in God, and uh, it was just something that I, I don't think I'll ever forget. I'll never forget it. Um, uh, so I've had a wonderful, wonderful life. I'm very happy in, in, my, in my life. Um, I, I always think of that scripture passage, uh, give and you shall receive, a full measure pressed down. And I've certainly received, I think I've received far more than I was ever able to give. At the moment, I'm in um, Mount St. Anne's. It's a retreat centre and a conference centre. Uh, various, various activities happen there. Many, many groups use it. They use it as a place of um, peace, reflection, time out. Uh, they use it for their planning sessions for their group. Um, we also have um, uh, school retreats for confirmation children, for secondary school children. It's, it's wonderful to work with children. Um, some of them are just so tuned in, really, to God and where God is in their life. It can be very challenging also because some of them uh, tell us, well, I don't believe in God. And mum and dad don't believe in God. And that, that's very challenging as well. Um, so that's, that's where our, our culture is right now. That's where the children are right now. It is true to say that people always say, I'm not religious. People don't go to mass. A lot of people don't go to mass now every week the way they used to and all the rest. But they are searching. They are very spiritual. They are searching for meaning in their lives. And... Um, I think first, the first step is just simply to relate to people where they are at right now, to befriend them, to respect where they are right now. Um, and you know, some people, they, they want to try out new things, they want to try out mindfulness, they want to try out meditation, anything that kind of uh, calms them down and gets them in touch with their deeper self. And I think that's, that's a very good thing. Um, and I think you know, the Holy Spirit will work through it. God will work through it and uh, they will find a path for themselves, you know. And the biggest challenge, I suppose, and it has been kind of an ongoing challenge, is always being open to, to responding to a new need uh, and being prepared to pack up and move, move to a new place, uh, try and insert myself into a new situation. That has always been challenging. But generally, it has also brought uh, many joys, uh, joys that I never expected. Uh, so, um, yeah, just being with people, listening to people's story is a wonderful honour, wonderful privilege and it, I, I get great joy from it.